So if you remember from my last video, I did a, I've done a video on, on this one, this particular one, which is the eight units, still running strong, no issues, as you can see. And, but again, for today's video, we're gonna be adding an extra one next to it. This will be uh, holding 12 units. Still the same miners, KA3 from Bitmain, mining Kadena. Right here, so you can see the miners are running. Just let me show you the temperatures here. Because the weather now is cooler, the fluid temperature is at 31 degrees. And I will show you the cooling section in a, in a moment. But basically, for today's video, we're going to be filming this one on how to install it. And uh, we're just getting started. So I'll take you outside and show you the the cooling section which is just behind the wall as you can see we are in the middle of nowhere even the noise when when you're far, far away from from the uh from the dry coolers and the chiller can hear anything so basically the cooling section is right here uh these are the new ones that will be uh, installed for the new system. These are taking care of the eight units. So we have the, the small dry cooler over there and the chiller here. So so basically during the night time when the temperatures goes down, because the, the, the water will go through the uh, dry cooler first. So if the temperature is down enough, the, uh, the chiller here will not be uh, running. Let me just show you the temperature here. It's at 9, 20 degrees. So right now the chair is not running. So only the dry cooler. And the pump inside the uh, uh, the chiller is running. So to recirculate the, the water. For the new system, we will be using this one. As well as these dry coolers. These are new, brand new. And I uh, will take you through the whole process of installing the whole thing. Just to give you a look, we're in the middle of nowhere. And uh, we shall start in a moment. Right, so the guys here are preparing the uh, water connections for the tank. In the meantime, what we'll do is we're gonna prepare the miners. These are brand new. So we just remove the fans and prepare them for uh, immersion. So we need to remove the fans, want them back. And for that, we need to open the uh, this cover for the control board, remove the fans, and install the uh, fan spoofers. And since these are brand new, so we don't need any cleaning, they will go straight away to the immersion tank. Fancy removed. Fancy meters installed. And now you can just put back the cover. Do the same with all the miners. And we are ready to put them inside the immersion pack. Right, just, just done uh, preparing all the miners as you can see. We removed all the fans. And just one thing, don't forget to remove the fans for the power supply. So just disconnect the fans from the inside. You, ha you, can, you can remove the fans if you want, or you can just leave them like that. So the miners are ready. We already installed all the spoofers inside. And the guys are just done doing the connection for the second tank. As you can see, the piping for the uh, cooling is done here and it's going that way so the rest of the job will be done outside connecting them to the dry coolers as well as the chiller
right now we're putting the miners inside the immersion tank as you can see we're connecting all the wiring including ethernet cables power cables and the, the tank itself has its own distribution power so this is a three phase converted into single phase because the miners run on single phase 240 and the power here is 380 so there's a conversion here and the pdu is just here in the back pdu as well as the ethernet wiring is all running through the back of the miner uh, sorry the tank the guys here are sorting the connection the main cable from the, uh, the power box here the main power box so they can we can supply direct power to the uh, to the immersion tank after that is done we're still missing one miner here, so we'll put it here straight away. After we've done connecting the power, what we'll do is we will, we will fill the tank with the dielectric fluid and we should be ready to start filling the tank with the dielectric fluid. We're pumping it from the drum. This particular tank needs around 400 liters. We will add and see how how it goes because remember the fluid once it gets hot it will extend. And the installation, everything is connected and running. Both tanks are connected. As you can see here, we have 20 K3 running here with full hash rate combined. Uh, both tanks so as you can see here this is the new immersion tank that we installed that is holding 12 units it's running smooth everything is clean uh, we might need to adjust the fluid later but for now everything seems good and this is the old one as you can see we have a little bit of color here and the reason why is uh, it's uh, because it still has some air bubbles. The fluid needs to extend a little bit before it becomes clear. Uh, but so far, everything is running good. Uh, hash rate wise, temperature wise, everything is running cool. And uh, I think we're gonna give it a few hours and recheck the whole thing again. But so far, so good. Just to show you the temperature of both tanks, so this one is running 32 and this one at 29. So this is it guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you on the next one.